What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Nacho coming back to you again with yet another video. Uh, this time, it's a very special pickup. Uh, one of my grails, uh, my favorite, probably Jordan of all time. Uh, it is a Jordan one, so if you know what you dropped last week, and you probably know what it is already. And if you've seen the title, you probably know what it is already. A uh, little brief history: first time that dropped, eighty-five. Uh, this was the first Jordan one that was available to the public. The next time that dropped was in twenty. Uh, 2001 followed by 2013 almost 12 years later and then again four years later 2017 by far this is my favorite Jordan 1 colorway of all time uh, no matter what drops even though you see I have the bread those are my second uh, but this tops everything no matter how many times this shoe comes out from now forward I'm probably gonna pick it up but without too much uh, talking before let's get into it as you see, it's your Saturn Jordan 1 box, your Nike with the swoosh logo all over, size tag, size 12, uh, the official colorway is white, game, uh, royal, and then black. Opening it up, taking off the lid, it's your standard Jordan 1 box inside, open it up, and there's the shoe. Let me take both of these out real quick. So pretty much y'all all know ones, y'all have all seen the Jordan 1, uh, there's nothing too special. It's one of those timeless classic that always stays around no matter when it drops. Uh, so let's get started with the, the material. So on the bottom you have your solid outsole in that royal colorway and then you have your Nike with the swoosh logo. Uh, moving up to the midsole, it's that all white uh, and you can see that blue outsole peeking through. Moving up to the top of the shoe. You have your regular leather, uh, no black parts, so around the toe, the mud guard, and then going all the way to the upper. On the toe box, it's that perforated uh, leather with the holes. And then uh, th this leather is really soft. If you have the breads, then it's the same leather as that. Uh, moving up to the tongue, uh, it's black with the blue Nike Air up top. Uh, your laces, like most ones, Come unlaced except for the very last one. Uh, moving up the shoe, your ankle area up top is black, and then your ankle area outside is uh, in the royal with the black Air Jordan winged logo. Your heel area has the blue with the swoosh that wraps all the way around, uh, and the both of them are connected, and then that's in royal too. Uh, on the inside, you have your white tone backing, your branding. And on the inside, your shoe trees, your laces, and then let me pop this out. The Nike Air in uh, blue, and then your size tag, size 12. A little pro tip: if you, if you guys are like me and you like to keep your uh, Nike Air intact, uh, you need a little piece of masking tape, clear tape, and uh, slap it on over there, and it will stay no matter what. I've done it for all mine except for my breads. I did it for my fours, my space jams, my supremes, my true blues, uh, and so far and so on. It really helps if you like keeping the little nostalgia in it. Uh, but overall, this is again one of my favorite shoes throughout time. Uh, finally, glad to own it. I originally missed out on the 2013 because I wasn't as into sneakers as I am now. Uh, but this is probably one of my favorites, as you can see. I'll just give you all 360. Yeah, but l let me know what you think of these 2017 Royals. Did you pass? Did you cop? Uh, are you waiting on something else? Did you cop the cause? Uh, overall, great shoe, but again, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, don't forget to like, rate, and subscribe. Shoe trees, shoe trees, your laces. And then, let me pop this out. The Nike Air in uh, blue, and then your size tag, size 12. A little pro tip, if you, if you guys are like me, and you like to keep your uh, Nike Air intact, uh, you need a little piece of masking tape, clear tape, and uh, slap it on over there, and it will stay no matter what. I've done it for all mine, except for my breads. I did it for my fours, my space jams, my supremes, my true blues, uh, and so far and so on. It really helps if you like keeping the little nostalgia in it. Uh, 
But overall, this is, again, one of my favorite shoes throughout time. Uh, finally glad to own it. I originally missed out on the 2013 because I wasn't as into sneakers as I am now. Uh, but this is probably one of my favorites. As you can see, I'll just give you all 360. Yeah, but l let me know what you think of these 2017 Royals. Did you pass?